if you're someone that's working out, you're familiar with these. Whey protein obviously is a milk-derived protein that a lot of people use to rebuild muscle right after a workout. Whey protein is very insulinogenic. You see, it absorbs so fast that it triggers what's called an insulin spike. And this insulin spike can kick you out of keto. I'm not saying don't ever consume whey protein, but it's not something you want to just be sipping on throughout the day like some people might do. You see, old school belief was that you want to eat every two or three hours to keep your metabolism high so people would have shakes in between meals. But now we know that that spikes your insulin and that can kick you out of keto. Now, the main issue with the whey protein is the fast absorption, but also the leucine. Leucine is an amino acid that skyrockets your insulin really quick. That's also present in branched chain amino acids. I'm not saying don't ever consume BCAAs. I'm saying don't sip on them throughout the day like a lot of people do. If you need to have them a little bit here and there along with a meal or instead of a meal, that's one thing. But just don't sip on them all day because they will keep your ketone levels lower, which will just inhibit or prohibit you from being able to feel your best. That's all there is to it. But now let's talk a little bit about fruit for a second. Uh, before I tell you what fruits I would recommend, it's probably important that you know that fruit is metabolized different than other carbs. So what happens is normally carbs come into your system and they absorb and they go through this whole process where they uh, travel on different glute transporters and they get into your system. Well, fruit has to go through the liver first. It requires what's called the active transport chain, a different glute transporter. All I mean by that is we can only process a small amount of fruit at one point in time. And we hold all the carbohydrates from the fruit in our liver whereas other carbohydrates we hold in our muscles and our 